Today we're going to learn about CSS selectors. So first let's create a brand new project. We're going to be using an image later, so let's add it now. Let's open the page to get started. First thing, select the body element and add an empty div. It's selected, so let's give it a class. We're going to call the class Foo. Now we're going to create a class style. We're going to call this dot foo. The period at the start is very important. We can now start adding some properties to this style. We can see it take effect immediately. Remember, we are adding these properties to the external style. They are not in line. We can also add properties visually. Again, we have put it into the style, they are not in line. All these changes are taking place to the external style. We are going to rename it by removing the period and put in a hash sign. We can see immediately the div loses its styles. But if we change the class property to an ID one, it regains it. This is because the hash maps to ID and the period maps to a class. Now, let's add some text. Let's use the H1. We can barely see this, so we're going to set up a style for this too. We can simply choose H1 from the override style menu. Here we are. So we'll select that and start making changes. Again, these changes are being made to the external style. There are no inline changes here. We we'll change the colour. We we'll can change the font size as well. We can barely see this text, so let's change the colour again. Now, select the body and we'll add another h1 tag, holding shift again to ensure there's text already in it. We can see it immediately adopts the h1 style. However, if we rename this style to have hash foo before it, we can see our second h1 tag lose its style completely, yet the first one still uses it. This is because we have renamed the style to only select h1 tags within the hash foo div. Bear in mind, this is really only scratching the surface of what can be done with CSS selectors. So, thanks for watching.